you suppose this is? Hollow solid one in, hollow the other with a couple of clips on it. Looks like a piston. Interesting bit of gear. Looks like something over there under that tree. Go and have a look. See. An ant's nest, I believe. Be nice and cool in there. Looks like a bit of boar case in there. south, leaving Arabina number one well, the oil well, heading back to the French line, then we head east to Papal Corner, the corner of Northern Territory, Queensland and South Australia. Heading into an easterly wind today, it's quite brisk. Well, for about eight k's anyway until we get to the French line. Then it'll be side on to it. on the road. I don't know if it's dead or it's warming itself up. I think it's just warming itself up. Got the sedge raised. Got a couple of stripes on him. Trying to hide in the bush there. There you go, little fella. You're pretty cold, huh? Pretty cold, little fella. Oh, no, no, I'll leave you there to hide. One oncoming vehicle. Looking south. A bit of flat country out there by the look of it. Bit of flat country down to the south. Wow, what a view. Bit of a dust storm out there on the lake. A salt storm. <laughs> it's Lake Tamblin up ahead. A bit of limestone around this lake. Dust 
dust out there. Salt, probably a clay pan anyway. Bit of limestone around the outskirts of there. It's a bit breezy, blowing all that salt all around the place. It'd be great to see this with water in it, but you never get through. Four-wheel drive enthusiasts have been making good use of the little hill in the middle. Lake Tamblin. We're going to head south off the French line down to Aperdina Atora Knolls, about four k's south of here of Lake. Those trees are gidgy, I think. These are the Aperdina Atora Knolls. Looks like at one stage they were mound springs. Go for a wander up here and have a look. The gypsum surface of these knolls, now exposed, began as flower gypsum, swept up by the winds from the bed of the local lake to form dunes, which later developed a hard and crusty upper surface. These remnants were once the highest dune crests. Rabbits have been up here. There's two of these knolls here. Nothing else except sand dunes for miles and gidgy trees. The first European to visit this site was a fellow by the name of David Lindsay. And he made it here at midday on Monday, the 11th of January, 1886. We're back on the French line. Heading east. There's another one of them crimson chats. Don't mind having a bit of a pose. This kitchen's got a beautiful grain on it. Just having a bite to eat. A lot of finches flying around here. Wouldn't believe it's a desert, would you? Lots of little berries on this shrub, very colourful. There's quadrants of budgies flying around down here. Mm. Looks like a swallow. Birdie in the centre of the screen. Mark 
goes that explorer with his camel average 26 kilometers a day. That's good going. Isn't it? A whole series of lakes through here along the French line, the like the eastern end of the French line. This one. I don't know whether, I think they all join up, and this is Pira Pira Palena, the whole series. The sand's starting to dry out a bit, They're making it hard. And yet another lake in this area. Flower seeds build up on the side of the track. come off this bush right here. When the wind's twirling them around in circles. Like scrambled eggs for tea. I'm over. And toss salad. Take the right hand side on the next one. We're still waddling up this one. Coming back. Gonna have we just to have another try. Okay, we'll hang back a bit. We'll have another go. One more time. Some interesting tracks down here. We're coming up on Lake Thomas. Bottles leaking a bit too, John. Got some traffic waiting at the bottom for us. Looks like some people have had coming, fun coming through here while it was wet. Enough fun getting through here when it's dry. The bottom scraping on the ground because the tyres are pretty low. We're going to check out this Popal's Peg on the corner of Queensland, South Australia, and. Northern Territory. And there it is, folks. The corner of three states. With a no-name lake in the background. And here's the crew in South Australia and Queensland. South Australia and down yonder. Queensland this way. 
in the Northern Territory is a bit of a lake. There's interesting prickles around here, all different sorts. Stuff I've never seen before. It's not for the faint-hearted, that's for sure. These old Gidgee trees have got some character. Good story that this is gypsum poking out of the ground. Look like crystals. Well, it's time to head back to camp. I've had enough of these prickles and the flies for one day. So I'm looking for a little track back to camp. Try and get to sunset before I finish the day. Interesting wander around out here. There's car tracks everywhere. People must be trying to spend the night in every state while they're here. You don't have to move far. There's our camp for the night. Somebody's left some firewood there, so we're going to have fire of gidgey coals. When are people going to understand that cans don't burn? 